Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to collect your form submissions in Elementor automatically, no coding required, no plugins. This is a new feature of Elementor that is built within the plugin, and I'm gonna show you how to enable it and use it uh, in this tutorial. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Okay, so I have my website at like, comment, subscribe club and I'm gonna go into the WordPress admin dashboard for that and just show you that I have uh, Elementor installed and Elementor Pro. This is an Elementor Pro feature, um, so it won't work unless you do have Elementor Pro. Um, what I, at this point, at the time of the recording, this is a, a beta feature, it's an experimental feature. Um, so I wanna make sure that you have that experimental feature enabled. Uh, by default, I believe it is enabled, but let's just make sure that that is the case. And then, you know, uh, in the future, if once this becomes a permanent feature, if that happens, then this will become irrelevant as far as this step is concerned. So I want you to go to Elementor on the left-hand side and go to the Experiments tab here and uh, just make sure you have form submissions um, enabled as far as the experiments is concerned. If it's not, go ahead and enable that and then save the changes and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so um, like I said, this is something that allows you to collect form submissions. So that's like whatever the, whatever the form, the, whatever the format of your form is, every record will be saved to uh, Elementor. So let me show you how you can do that. Let's make a new page. Well, uh, so we'll go to the pages, click on add new We'll call this um, uh, sign sign up the sign up page. You know, we'll edit that with Elementor, and we'll we'll uh, basically just add a simple sign up form on here. So we can drag a sign up widget in here, or a form widget, I should say, and let's create it. So we'll we'll collect the person's name, their email address. Um, instead of a message, let's make that like uh, the a date of type date. And this is, let's say like their availability. Okay, so basic sign up form here, name, email, and availability. Uh, I think that's all we need. So let's publish that and take a look. So like, comment, subscribe, dot club slash sign up. Um, with the form submissions uh, collection enabled, when we fill this out, Tony Florida, my email, Tony at Tony teaches tech. My availability is uh, April 14th. So we'll submit that form. The form was successfully submitted. Let's go back here into our uh, WordPress admin dashboard. And if we go to, uh, do, 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 where is that? Elementor submissions. We'll see that we have a form submission. Tony teaches tech the name, the form that we associated with new form uh, on the sign up page, and it has an ID of four. So we can view that form submission, and there's the name, email, availability, April 14th, 2021. Now, the one thing that I, I should really point out here, let's edit this page with Elementor. In order to explicitly enable form submissions, you need to make sure under actions after submit, we have uh, collect submissions um, here as an option. You don't necessarily have to have email, but just make sure you have collect submissions. Whoops, I got rid of it. So add collect submissions. We'll save that, um, but if you do want to get emailed when somebody, uh, you know, submits their form on your website, then you can also do that as well. But I just wanted to make sure I added that before I forgot. Um, anyway, so yeah, that that has been uh, submitted to our form, and we can do that again, right? We can go to like, comment, subscribe, dot club, sign up, and let's add somebody else. We'll say Joe Smith. Joe at gmail.com and Joe is available um, April 20th. So we'll submit that and back here under elementary submissions, you'll see that we have a new record here, joe at gmail.com. 
sign up form. And again, if you have multiple different forms on different pages or even multiple forms on the same page, they'll each have their unique, um, their name, the new form and new form name that came from, uh, let me show you where that came from. If you edit this with elementary, we click on the form. The name of the form is new form. So you can change that if you would like to as well. Um, viewing this, he's available April 20th, 2021. One of the, one of my favorite features about this, um, I mean, yes, you can you can look at specific forms if you have multiple forms. You can filter by time, um, filter by page. But one of my favorite features is export exporting this data to a CSV. CSV is a comma separated value file, and you can open this with Excel or uh, some other type of text editor. But you can literally one click download all of your form submission data into uh, one of those spreadsheet types and it's opening up here on the other side and now you have that information where you can you know do do what you want with it so um, you have your your different records here your different rows all the different columns so your submission id the time that the form was submitted at uh, the the browser that the user used which is the user agent um, the user's IP address, uh, where they signed up for that, and then the data that they input into the form, email, availability, name. So that's, uh, I think that's a very powerful feature to have that one-click ability to take all that form data and save it to a CSV file. Um, that's about it. This is a pretty simple, straightforward tutorial. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.